the nice thing about medical oncology is that it, there's a very long-term relationship with the patients. You obviously get to meet them when they're first diagnosed, and then if they're going through therapy, you're seeing them very frequently, get to know them, get to know their family, uh, a lot about their lives. I have a very personal connection to cancer. My first wife, uh, whom I married while I was in medical school, uh, who was a physician, uh, died of cancer. I think having lost a spouse to cancer gives you um, maybe an extra level of empathy, but everybody's situation is different, and so I, I, I don't ever assume that, you know, to just know, oh, I know where you're coming from, because I don't. When you are trying to choose a cancer doctor, I think ultimately it's about the relationship and, and feeling like you have a rapport with them and they understand you and you feel like you can communicate well with them. And then even after they finish therapy, you're typically following them up every three, six months for five years. And so there's a long period of time where you've really shared their lives along with them. My favorite part of my job are those long-term relationships, seeing people back um, who you know, I have a nice relationship with and, and seeing them do well. The other thing that's very gratifying is uh, when I'll see somebody who was essentially referred by a former patient. You know, so I'll see you know, their mother or their cousin or somebody they work with in the office and to have somebody you know, basically give you that level of trust and recommendation is, is unparalleled.